Hello. Hi, Sakina. How are you, Fendi? I am fine. It's nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you again. I'm just stuffing my face with cherries. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they taste really nice. So I'm just eating them for breakfast. <laughs> I oh, know. What time? I don't know. What time? Is um, it? It's eight o'clock in the morning here. Ah. Oh, yeah, nice. it's really early. Yeah. It's really early. Yeah, I start my lessons every day at seven o'clock. Wow, it's too early. Yeah. It's well, yeah, it is too early, but it's the only hours uh, that we can get because um basically Kalingo is an American company, so they all are American teachers and me and my husband are the only people that can t uh, take in the time frame. So we're we're um with these type of hours. But we don't mind that we get used to it. So it's good. It's good. Yes. We don't mind it. We enjoy it. We enjoy it. So, yeah, Hello. Hello, guys. How are you again? Fine. Thank you. Mohammed, great. You can join us again. Hello, Diego. Hello, Sakina. Good morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> thank you very much. Excellent. Sarah, welcome to the class again. Okay, Sarah. I hope the internet won't uh, be a garbage again. Yeah, garbage. <laughs> I like how you uh, describe the internet, Muhammad. Garbage. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Yes, I hope so as well. I hope so for uh, your sake. Yeah. Okay, Ogar, welcome to the class. How are yeah, you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, keeping good here in the UK. Well, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful day yesterday, and now it's cloudy again. So it's a bit depressing. Yeah, we're getting a bit of a depressing weather here as usual. Yeah, <laughs> what's the weather like where you guys are from? Oh, so, so Ogre, you're from Turkey, right? Yes. Uh, it, is is it is cool. It is cloudy a little bit. Oh, really? But, it's cloudy. But it is hot. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, I know. I can imagine. It's humid there, right? Yeah. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> okay, Sarah, what about you? Sarah, hello. Where are you I coming from, Sarah? I'm from Morocco, Rabat. Okay, Morocco. Okay, nice. Yeah. So the weather is quite hot there. Yes. Yeah. I think this is the warmest here in the history of Morocco. Yeah. Really? Oh dear. God, have you got air conditioning going on in Morocco? <laughs> air conditioning? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you have it. You should okay. have one. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That's good. Just checking, just checking. <laughs> okay. Mohammed, what about you? I'm I'm from Iraq. It's too hot there. It's, it's 40, too hot. 42. 42! Oh 42. my god! We are That's dying, so but we are fasting too. I <laughs> know, guys! That must be so difficult for you. Oh it is, god. It's Ramadan. Uh, it's the first day in Ramadan, and we are fasting now. It's too yeah. so hot and too hungry. We are too hungry. <laughs> you can't be hungry now. It's only, well, hang on. It's 8 o'clock here in the UK. So, what time is it over there in Iraq? It's, it's 10, 10 a.m. Oh, that's so early, and you're hungry, Mohammed? <laughs> no, no, I mean in the future. After in the five future, hours, six yeah. Hours. After yes, six I hours. know. But you know what? After work, you can just go home and just have a nap. That's what I would do. Yeah, that's the truth. Sure, I'm have just joking. Not, I'm not hungry. Just joking. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Okay, excellent. Good, good, good. Okay, okay Heidi. Thank you. Well, how are you again? I'm glad you can join the second class. Yes, and nice to see you again. I nice to see you too. Okay, so Fendi, I'm glad you can join again to the class. Diego, you as well. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Okay, so we'll just wait. Hang on, guys. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, I think we'll wait until a couple more people join because I was late in posting the link on Facebook. So, how many people know about it? Okay. I saw it. So. We'll just wait a minute, guys, because you know if um if I start teaching and then two people have joined, then I have to teach again. So I'll just wait. Take your ease. Two. Take your ease, teacher. Take ease. Take it easy. Okay, I'll take, take it, it easy. easy. 
as 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 you like. I will. I will definitely. From where okay. are you, teacher? I'm based in the UK. UK, United Kingdom. Yeah. Oh, great. United Kingdom, yeah. So great. I've been here. Yeah, we're here. The weather is very bad here, Mohammed. It's so depressing. It's no sun. It's just cloudy all the time. So yeah. You, UK. My, <laughs> yes, in the UK. Oh. Yeah. And we. And we break our fast, Muhammad, at ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Yes, you got it. Ten o'clock. So it's, yeah, it's long days here compared to oh, Iraq. Ten, Iraq, you probably break your BM. fast at eight. The day, the, the, the day is fourteen hours here in Iraq. Yeah, ours the, is nineteen. <laughs> the the sun the sun appear in fourteen hours. <laughs> yeah, For us ours will 60. never appear. Oh. Sorry, Wafa. But we have used to it. Yeah, you're used to it. Sorry, what that? What were you saying? For me, maybe it's more than... But, but you say t 10 p.m., you break the room fast? Yes, 10 o'clock, yes. What about you? 7 p.m. 7 p.m., that's so... Oh, my God! 7 p.m., wow. oh, God! Oh my That's God. so easy compared to ten. Oh my God, no, guys! But, but uh, it's from four a.m. Yeah, four a.m. You see, you guys have the heat wave, so you guys, I think, would suffer more. Like us, we don't really have much sun, so you know, we don't really feel it. But yeah, it's quite yeah. But you know, it's a blessed month, Ramadan. So enjoy it, guys. Okay, okay, guys. So let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, Asvaldo, welcome to the class. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm good. What about you? I'm good. I'm good, Asvaldo. Things are going good. Where are you from? Hi, guys. <laughs> Excellent. Hello, Angola. Yes, okay. I'm from Angola, but now I'm in India. You're in India Hello. now. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. so let's do a quick introduction. Diego, if you can please tell the class where you're from and what you do. Okay, I am Diego from Spain. I uh, I am I am living in, in Madrid currently current. Uh, I am uh, owner of a small company, consultancy company, and uh, I like uh, to to learn English uh, with Colingo and Sakina. Oh, thank you, Diego. <laughs> okay, Fendi, your turn. Hi everyone. I am Hello. Fendi. Hey. Hello. I am <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm from Taiwan and nice to meet you and I'm so happy because I can join the Kalinga class. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. You're, Thank you, Fendi. Okay, you, you Heidi, your class? turn. Hello, I'm Heidi from Japan. Today I went to the dentist to check up my teeth. Whoa. Dentist yeah. found a small <laughs> cavity. Then oh, he no. treated them at that place, and now it's a little painful. Oh no, Heidi! Oh dear! <laughs> Do you have any antibiotics to help with the pain? Muhammad, no. can you suggest something to her? <laughs> what? I what she, she said? Profine. Profine, is she, it? She, she needs a hypoprofine. Hypoprofine. Yeah. There you go, Heidi. There are two doctors giving you advice. Okay. What? Who is doctor? Is, is there an doctor? doctor. Muhammad is learning. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're, don't worry, you're... don't worry. Colingo is better, will be better because he's good medicine. <laughs> That's thank excellent, you. Osvaldo. So, thank you. Do you like, like a dentist? I hate. <laughs> I hate dentists as well. I haven't been for a long time. I'm really bad. I have I, to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a dentist. I'm a general medicine. <laughs> We know that, Muhammad. We know. We oh. were just asking you what type of uh, antibiotics can Heidi take. Oh, uh, ibuprofen, yeah. I think. Ibuprofen. There you go, Heidi. Go to the pharmacy and get that ibuprofen for your teeth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent, Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. Okay, Muhammad, your turn. Please introduce yourself to the class. Okay. My, uh, my name is Muhammad Hassan. I'm from Iraq, from the, at the Kufa University College of Medicine. Uh, last year, I graduated from the high school and I got a, an average 98 
uh, that was so high and I've joined to the medical college. I completed the first stage at the medical uh, school and I have uh, received my results yesterday and I was passed to the second year and uh, it was so exciting to learn my English and to improve it because in our college they ask us to uh, to give a presentation and to be a lecturer with English language so that wow. uh, to improve my English language I, uh, I attended to Verbling and uh, to Coalingo and uh, I have known these sites since two days. It was so exciting to join these wonderful sites. And thank Excellent. you all. Thank you all. I, thank you. Congratulations. I, uh, congratulations, I Mohammed. Say, thanks, thanks, thanks. I want, thanks all. I want, Very I want smart. to just say, whoa. Yes, 95, wow. That's nice. amazing. Wow. 90, 98, 98. Oh, 98. Oh, my 98. God. That's excellent, Mohammed. Your parents oh. must have been so proud of you. Oh, thank you. I have. No, uh, good job. I have I have five brothers, all of them doctors. Wow, my oh, daddy uh, was a doctor as well. My dad oh, was also a doctor. Great, yeah. great. Is there, is there yeah. Alistair, Alistair University in uh, UK? Yes, he, no, he went to a uh, Dublin University, Trinity. But we, we, we are applying the same curriculum of Lister University. We are the Kufa University. Got from the Lister. We, we could go to UK after the graduation. It's so easy uh, for us. No, you should. No, Muhammad, you will get a job like that. People are dying for teacher, uh, are dying for doctors. They need them. Yeah. It's, it's different, because yeah, not yeah. not everybody can be a doctor, Muhammad. So definitely oh. try the UK. Very yeah, very good pay. I will try. Maybe I will travel to UK after graduation sooner. Definitely. Okay. Thank you, Muhammad. We have to quickly move on to the next people. Osvaldo, please introduce yourself to the class. Thank yes, yeah. I'm Osvaldo. I'm from Angola in Africa. Now I'm in India studying the networking. Networking, I'm uh, doing my bachelor from mm -hmm. Stratford University, U University from USA. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will like, I could be an engineer in networking. If anyone there can help me discussing about networking. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Osvaldo. Thank you. Okay, Sarah, your turn, please. My name is Sarah. I'm from Morocco. I live in the capital, Rabat. Um, I am married. I have two babies. Uh, I work so as a French. <laughs> Thank <know>. you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I work as a French teacher. High school. I'm teaching high school. Excellent! Today. Wow, so you work as a French teacher. You're also yeah. a teacher, Sarah. Yeah. Wow. Excellent. We have something in common, Sarah. Teaching. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Sarah, for that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Augur, your turn. Yeah. Uh, my name is Ur. Uh, I am from Turkey. I live in Istanbul. Uh, I am a university student, uh, and I am now I am working in a hotel. Excellent. Thank you. Thank Great. you, Agar. Okay, Wafa, your turn. Yes. Um, my name is Wafa. I'm from Saudi Arabia, and from uh, from Medina. Uh, I'm a student, and I work. That's all. Wow, you're from Medina. Oh, that must be yeah. so nice to be from Stay there, up. the holy city. Excellent. Thank you guys for introducing yourselves. For those who don't know me, my name is Sakina. I was born in the UK. I was born in Newry in Northern Ireland, but it is part of the UK. So this is why I don't have the British accent. And um, I've been all over the world. I've been to Australia. I've been to Egypt. And now I'm back in the UK. So yeah, guys. So welcome to the class again. So let's move on to um, the topic that we're going to discuss today. So we're going to be talking about the environment, and uh, we're going to be doing a grammar skill as well with using the past tense, which we add is the ed. So everyone is aware of using the past tense, guys. Pretty straightforward. Of course. Yeah, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is add the ED. So yeah. So it's an easy lesson. It's an easy lesson. Okay. 
Right, so what I get, okay, so I'm going to ask you guys a question, okay, and you must use the past tense, okay? So, Heidi, what did you do today? What did you do today? You can make it simple, or you can make it up. It's up to you. <laughs> Anyone can answer? Hi, are you there? Yes, yes, I went to the dentist to check up my teeth. Okay. No, but we're going, we have to use the past, ED. Yeah, but basically, yes, okay, so you went to the dentist, but I want you to use um, the subject and the past tense. So we have, yes. I walked, for an example. Then I went. Okay. But with ED, ED, ED. Can you have something with ED for me? ED? ED? Yes, ED. <laughs> ED, what? <laughs> what is? Sorry, I am picking on you. <laughs> yes, with the ED. So we have walk, and then we have to make it pass. So we do walked. Hmm. Okay. Walked mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. dentist. Okay, yes. I walked to the dentist. Excellent. To the Very good. Dentist. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Diego, your turn. What did you do today? Uh, today, I, I have a lot, uh, a lot of uh, work. Um, okay, so re remember, Diego, we we'll have to use the subject, which is I, okay, and then we use the past tense. So you have worked here, so how do you finish the sentence? I. I worked a lot. Yes, I worked a lot today. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Osvaldo, what about you? Yeah, today I cooked beans. Oh, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You cook beans. Okay, very good. Algar, your turn. Can I start at uh, 12 a.m.? Because uh, I work in a uh, night shift in my hotel. Mm, uh, no. I, I, can, I can start with uh, 12 a.m. for today. Uh. Uh, well, I would like you to say um, the past with the ah, ED. Of course, yeah. of course. Of uh, course. I Just watched. Make something uh, up. Of course, I watched three uh, episodes of Breaking ba Breaking Bad. Excellent. Very uh, good. Using the ED. Very good. Excellent. Okay, yeah. Fendi. What about you? What did you do today? Um, I cooked spaghetti for my lunch today. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Can I have some, please? Okay. Then come <laughs> to Taiwan. Okay, I'll come then. I I'll want get to. the plane over. <laughs> okay. Ali, what about you? What did you do today with using the past tense, E-D? Um, madam, uh, I, I am working in my office today. Okay, so... A past. I worked. Okay, so you're, yes, I worked. You're going to use I worked, okay, because you're, you're still working now, so we're talking about the past, okay? Okay, so what did you do today, okay? And it's finished now, so we have to say worked, okay? Okay, next person, let's see. Sarah, what about you? What did you do today? A lot. I did a lot. Okay, uh, I clean. I clean the house. Yes. Okay. I wash the dishes. Uh huh. Excellent. Very good. Good. Okay. Okay. Wafa. Yes. What about you? What did you do today? I I joined Kalingo. Oh, really? You joined Kalingo? Okay, very good. You joined Kalingo. Excellent, guys. Okay, excellent, guys. So we all know the form of using the past tense, right? With the ED. Okay? 
Excellent. So let's move on to the grammar. Okay. 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 So we all can see the screen here? Yes, very, very well. Very Do I need to enlarge it a little bit? No, okay. okay. Is this okay? Okay. 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 Ex Excellent. Okay. So basically, guys, um, when we're using verbs in English, and um, they're usually made with past tense, so we're adding the ed. Okay. So, however, this can be tricky because there are three pronunciations of ed. So we have t worked, we have d loved, and we have id wanted. So you have to be very careful when we're pronouncing these three type of words. Okay. Okay. So basically, um, I'm going to show you how to sound when we're adding the ed and when we're adding the d and when we're adding the id. Okay. Okay. So here are some examples, guys. Okay. So basically, um, this letter means that we have to pronounce the word like it, like it's a T, like it's a hard T. So we have stopped, jumped, hoped, looked, talked, walked, cooked. So do you know the difference now when we're using, when we're pronouncing the words, they're ending with the T. Okay? So when we're adding the ED, it doesn't sound like an ED. It sounds like it sounds like a T at the end of it. Okay, so can I ask one of the students to pronounce um, "jumped" for me? Okay, so yes. Osvaldo, you want to pronounce? Yes. One of the words. Yes, I want. Yes. Which one? Uh, you can pick any one here. I've highlighted. Uh, Stop. Excellent. Stop. Yes. Jump. Very good. Opt. Mm -hmm. Looked, talked, mm -hmm. walked, cooked. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So, guys, do you notice the pronunciation of Osvaldo when he pronounces the words? Well, I think uh, he has uh, pronounced yeah. uh, a little bit wrong. He has said walked. It is. It would be walked. Yeah. He no, he. I. I out. think he done it okay. I, I think he done it okay. Um. Okay, let's try another person. Fendi, you want to try and do this one? Um, you want to try and do the hard T? Okay, so Which one? Any, any, any one of these you can choose to pronounce. Miss, kiss, uh -huh. mm -hmm. was, crash, watch, mm -hmm. match. Okay, so basically you also pronounce the hard T with verbs like these okay so missed kissed missed. so we have kissed. to pronounce it with a hard t yeah so okay. we have crashed okay watched okay so okay. let's start with okay so diego you want to try and pronounce one of the words please with the hard t yes of course uh, t no Yes, so you're pronouncing uh, these words with yes. the T at the end. Yes, uh, missed, kissed, okay. was, mm -hmm. uh, crashed, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. watched, smart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't forget to add the T at the end. Washed, crashed, okay? Crashed. Yeah. Okay, crushed. guys. Watched. So just remember when we're pronouncing these words, at the end, we have to pronounce it like it's got a hard T at the end of the word. Okay, so let's try another person. I just want to just go through everybody. Okay, and um, yes, Osvaldo. Yeah, I have one thought about wash it and wash it. Okay, no, washed. 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 Yes, washed. washed. Yes, washed. Okay. And, and yes. Washed, mm -hmm. washed. E excellent. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, Augur, you want to try? Uh, of course. Uh, you select the ones. Yes. Uh, so you just go uh, through uh, any of the words. Okay. Uh, missed, kissed, washed, crushed, washed, matched. Good. Good. Okay. So you have the hard T there at the end. Very good, guys. Excellent. So uh, anyone have any questions with the sounds of these words? Break, break. Ali? 
yes red and yeah ma'am march marched yes very good marched uh huh red pulled Okay, so we're just Ali. We're just concentrating on please. these words, on these words with the ed. Okay. Ma'am, I have a question. Yes, yes, bird. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 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 wanted. Uh, what's the pronunciation of wanted or wanted? I have, uh, wanted. Wanted. That. Wanted. Wanted. But in uh, uh, Brian, uh, Brian Adams' song, uh, uh, I uh, noticed that he uh, he pronounced uh, uh, wanted. No, no, that's incorrect. Because we're talking about the past tense. So when we're adding the ED, we have to pronounce it with the hard T towards the end of the word. Wanted. Wanted. Okay? Oh, okay. 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 It's not it's not wanted. No. Wanted. Okay? Repeat after me, Esper. Okay. Wanted. Uh, wanted. Wanted. Excellent. Wanted. Very good. Excellent, Esper. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Okay, so another one, guys. When we have um, another ed with verbs ending with d or t, okay, um, we have to pronounce it like it's an id towards the end of the word. Okay, so we have ended, blended, chatted, wanted, tasted, excited, painted. Okay, so this wanted, we do wanted, okay? Wanted with a T at the end, okay? Okay, so I'm going to ask Heidi, can you say the words for us, please? Ended, branded, mm -hmm. chatted, mm -hmm. wanted, tasted, tasted mm -hmm. excited, mm -hmm. painted. Excellent. Okay, Agar, what about you? No, of course. Ended, blended. Chatted, wanted, tested, excited, painted. Painted, excellent. Okay, Fendi? Yes. Ended, mm -hmm. landed, chatted, mm -hmm. wanted, tested, excited, painted. Excellent. Very good, guys. Okay. So when we have other verbs that are pronounced with the D sound, we sound it like it's got D towards the end of the word. So we have tried, borrowed, studied, played, paid, lived, loved. Okay? So, Diego, you want to try these words, please? Of course, Akina. Uh, tried, borrowed, studied, played, paid, paid, lived, paid, yeah. mm -hmm. lived loved. Loved. Excellent. Wafa, you want to try? Me? Uh, sorry, Wafa. Sorry, Esfaldo. Wafa, you want to try? Tried. Mm -hmm. Borrowed. 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 Sorry, borrowed. Yeah. Borrowed. Studied. Mm -hmm. Played. Mm -hmm. Paid. Mm -hmm. Lived. Mm -hmm. Loved. Excellent. Very good. Okay, one last person. Osvaldo? Yes. Tried, borrowed, studied, played, paid, lived, loved. Excellent. Very good, guys. Very, very good. Okay. So now we're going to go through. Does anyone have any other questions regarding the past tense with the ED? Uh, can, can I ask? Can I? Yes. Yes, Osvaldo. Yes. Uh, I have gotten a problem with long phrases, long mm -hmm. words. When okay. I'm, I'm reading and I I made a mistake in in pronunciation of uh, he day or of and uh, he day, like uh, uh, recognized. 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 Yeah. yeah. Recogn so yes. So basically, Asvaldo, the trick is when you have a difficulty reading long words like that, you just split it into three parts. And then you just pronounce the three parts and say it all together. So we have recognized, recognized. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so that's usually the tip I can give you guys. <laughs> okay, okay. anyone? Anyone have any other questions? Me. 
Yes. Uh, what does blended mean? Uh, we blended. Yes. Um, it's basically you know when we're using in the kitchen. So if we're cooking, we want ah, to blend. Okay. We want okay. to blend something to make it solid, uh, like liquid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Um, I want to ask about the word excited. Excited. Okay. Excited means um, it can mean a lot of things. No, yeah. I want to say. Oh, you want, want to say, to say it? Yeah, of course, to see, Sarah. To see the word it oh, was written like. I'm not sure. You want to see the word? Yes. Excited. Um. Is there is no C in it? Yes, I know. I was just looking at the other day because you know the Americans they spell it without the C, but the British we spell it with the C. So it can be. I think it can be used in both. Let me just check because when I was teaching, I always used the C, but I think the Americans they use it without the C. Let me just check it guys for you and see. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, basically, guys, it's saying with a C here. Mm. I think, just to be safe, I think there was a mistake here of the lesson, but I'm not sure. But maybe the Americans do it that way. I'm not sure. But the way we do it in Britain, we do it with a C. So if I was you, I would just go for the C. So we have E X C I T E D. Okay, guys. So just disregard okay. that. So we have a C after the X. Okay, guys. Okay. And don't okay. don't get confused. Okay. So always use the C. Um, but I I can make sure and see if if that's how they do it in America. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because they pronounce certain words differently from the British. I'm sure you've noticed that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's go through the article, guys. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Okay. Thank you, Esper. Okay. Right. So basically, we're going to be talking about um, the endangered species um, regarding the polar bear. So have we all seen the polar bear in our lives? No. No? We haven't seen a polar bear? We haven't heard of a polar bear before? Uh, I have heard, but I mean, uh, in real life, I haven't seen yeah. I saw that only on TV. I have yeah. seen in the television. Yeah, in the television. Yeah, me too. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're beautiful creatures. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Love it, love it. Yeah, but they're, they're endangered species. So we're going to read about the polar bears, okay, and what they're going through at the moment, okay. So I'm going to read the article. So guys, please listen to me because we're going to be going through this afterwards, okay. Uh, so all Sikina, ears open, guys. All ears open. Uh, Sikina, can I suggest a thing? Uh, why yes. don't we? Re why don't we read uh, the well, article so you can uh, fix our mistakes? Yes, well, I wanted you guys to read as well, but now the new Kalingo, it's changed over. So basically, um, we have to read the article to you guys. The reason is so you guys can listen to my pronunciation and you can actually um, read the article properly. So you can, it's just basically to listen to the teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love. I would love to hear you guys um, read, of course, but you know we have to read as teachers. So yeah, sorry guys, <laughs> you have to listen to my boring reading. <laughs> okay, so let's start. No, okay. it's not boring. Okay. I think. <laughs> Thank you, Esper. Oh God. Okay, so in spring two thousand and eight, the polar bear was placed on the endangered species list, according to the Endangered Species Act. An endangered species is an animal that is likely to face extinction in its natural habitat. So do we all understand the meaning of endangered? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Threatened. Threatened, yes, very good. Excellent. They're a yeah. vulnerable. They're facing yeah. vulnerable situation. That's right. That's right, Esper. Excellent. Okay. So polar bears have been characterized as a threatened species. 
The ESA defines a threatened species as one that is likely to become endangered in the foreseeable future. The polar bear is the first animal that has been classified as endangered due primarily to global warming. So we all talked about global warming, guys. We all remember what it is? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah? Excellent. Global warming is caused by carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that become trapped in the atmosphere. Heating homes, driving cars, and burning garbage all require fossil fuels that lead to global warming. There you go, guys. We need to try and reduce this global warming. Okay. So the polar bear's habitat is more vulnerable to global warming. So do we all know the meaning of vulnerable? Yeah, yes, like, like not protected. Not protected. Okay, so we'll, we'll start off with auger. So if you can please explain to us what it no. means, auger. Uh, likely to hurt, injure. Likely uh -huh. to injure. Yes, excellent. Uh huh. Esper, what about you? Yes, well, vulnerable means that they are uh, there. Uh, the polar bears' life are not so protected uh, uh -huh. due to global warming as well as the temperature rising. They mm -hmm. are not enduring the uh, uh, higher temperature than the uh, past, uh, they're facing problem, uh, temperature problem. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that uh, polar bear uh, uh, blood uh, as well as uh, they're uh, uh, very accustomed to the uh, low temperature, very low temperature. Uh -huh. As the Excellent. temperature is rising, they're facing a little bit problem. That's, That's right, okay. yeah. Excellent. Thank you for that, Esper. Okay. So polar bears live mainly on the sea ice in the Arctic. This is where they hunt for fish and build up fat reserves. When the ice melts, many polar bears move to land and live off their stored fat. In the Arctic, global warming is causing the ice to melt slightly earlier and form slightly later. This results in a shorter feeding season for the polar bear. Some risk their lives to find ice. If they have to swim too far, they will drown from exhaustion and hunger. The World Wildlife Fund estimates the 25% of the Arctic Sea has disappeared in the past 30 years. Wow, okay. It is not only the polar bear that is at risk in the Arctic. Every species of plant, animal, and insect there is threatened by global warming. Nevertheless, environmentalist groups such as the World Wildlife Fund often study large carnivores in order to access the health of an ecosystem. The Arctic food chain relies on the polar bear. In addition, donations are more commonly offered for the protection of large animals, such as bears or elephants. People in general are less interested in conservation, uh, conservation efforts that protect small, small wildlife, such as plants or insects. However, by using donor money to protect the habitat of the larger animals, Example, reforestation programs, entire ecosystems can be protected. Okay, anyone have any questions so far? No, no. Mm -hmm. No question. But okay. I want to share, I want to share that uh, the okay. life of polar bear okay. is... Uh, okay. Uh, Sorry, Esper, if, wanted, uh, if we can just leave it just to the last bit because we just have to finish this. Sorry, I'm just running out of time yes, again. Yes, continue, continue, continue. Sorry, continue. Esper, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, so okay. it is important, thank you, it is important that animals such as the polar bear make it onto the endangered species list. Once they are on the list, there are laws that protect these animals from being hunted, hunted for food or sport. Agencies also receive money and tools to protect the habitat and recover the species. The goal of removing the animal from the list is often achievable. Since the Endangered Species Act was introduced in the US in 1973, many species have been taken off the list due to increased populations. In fact, it is rare for a species to go extinct after they make the list. Sadly, many species do go extinct after while, sorry, waiting for consideration. Okay, so this is basically just um, the story about the polar bear and how they're threatened um, as well. So, you know, how we can improve on certain things in the environment. Okay, so guys, listen, we have to move on to the, the questions. I'm sorry. 
Um, I'm running out of time. I want to assess you guys, so just bear with me. Okay. So, guys, so now I'm going to ask you questions, okay? I want you guys just to practice using the grammar skill with the past tense, with using the ED, okay? So, I'm going to ask a student a question. You have to answer it with using the past tense, okay? So, we know, guys, the past tense is using the subject and the past tense with the ED form, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so the first question, um, let's see. Heidi, your turn. You there, yes. Heidi? Okay. Yes. So, how did you discover your favorite song? Favorite song? I have an account on the Facebook. Some friend posted. No, no, Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. We have to do posted. I something. Um? No have, no have. So, you can say... I opened my Facebook account three years ago. Excellent, yes. My uh -huh. friend sometimes posted some music, YouTube. Uh-huh, uh -huh. yes, it. I found, found, or no, uh, easy, not easy. It's okay, it's, it's okay. okay, you can use them. I, I found. found very good music mm -hmm. in my Facebook. Excellent, okay. So next one, um, Diego, you want to try? Okay, okay, so the second question is, describe your last job. So I want you to give me three past tense verbs. Uh, my last job uh, was an exciting job. Uh -huh. uh, I worked a lot, a uh, lot uh, hours every week. Uh, okay. And uh, I had a lot of uh, college around me. Okay, so Diego, I just want you to give me the verb. So you've given me worked. What, what? other two verbs have you done in your workplace? Excuse me? So you, I, need, I need to ask you to give me verbs in your last workplace. So what did you do in your last workplace? So you've given me, you've worked where? Where did you work? I, so you, I work a lot. Okay, I worked a lot, okay. And what other verbs can you give me? I had a lot of college. Mm, not exactly. So basically, I would give you, I'll give you an example. So you can say, um, I typed. I typed. Ah, okay, the, okay. I typed on the computer. Yes, I, uh, yes. Uh, I, I checked my emails, that can be verbs. Yes, in I the checked past my tense. emails. I, okay. I, um, okay, um, you can also say typed as well. So just relating to your job, your last job. Yeah, yeah, I understand perfect, but uh, I don't have the, the, the verb uh, now. But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, Diego, good, good, good try. Okay, Fendi, what about you? Describe your last job with three verbs in the past tense. I, um, I work as interpreter, so I translate to the uh -huh, foreign good. language. Yes. I type it on my computer. Type I... Yes. I brought. I okay. Well, we we would not say draw and um, we say drew. So um, not, not with the e d. So try and think of another one. Another one. Okay, I. Um, <laughs> what's next? Nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> Getting there. Yeah, okay. I yeah I check it my mile. Okay, and, you checked uh, your mail. Yes, I posted mm -hmm. a document by post office. Excellent, very good. Yes, yes, yes. good. Yes. Excellent, Fanny. Thank you for Thank that. You. Okay, S bird, are you ready? Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, describe what you saw in the last Kalingo video. So, remember, you're using the past tense with the ed. So describe what you saw in the last Kalingo video. Yeah, 
in the last calling of video uh, uh, it uh, occurred yesterday and i uh, saw uh, mari rosenby was uh, telling the students about uh, the new uh, strategy of calling you uh, and uh, i tried my best to enter but uh, in spite of uh, trying so many times i could okay. not uh, at the last point i entered into the class and okay uh, so that's all. Yeah, very, very good, Esper. But you need to also you need to reply with using the ED form, the past tense. I entered. I have said that I entered. I entered. Okay, so I entered. Okay, okay. I didn't hear you. Sorry, Esper. Okay, excellent. I entered Kalingo. Very good. Okay, good. Okay, so Ogre, what about you? What did you do to improve the environment in your society? Uh. I joined a uh, non-governmental organization, mm -hmm. which uh, which aims to protect the environment. Very good. Yeah. Uh, Excellent. Yes, that's great. Great, great, great. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, Wafa, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Did you did you like or dislike the article, and why? I I loved the article. Loved the article. Okay. Why did you love the article? Give us some reason. I heard things that I didn't know about. Excellent. Very good. Well done, Wafa. Well done. Okay, so let's move on, guys, to the assessment part. Okay, um, Muhammad and Jesus, sorry, guys, you're late. I'm sorry. So we have to move on to the, the assessment process. Okay. 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 So okay. Sorry, just I can't go through. Issue. I know it's okay, Muhammad. Per you, I hope you okay. get your internet sorted. <laughs> sorry, it's too um, bad. I will fix it. I'll fix it. I'll try oh, to it's okay. It. It comes Don't worry. Out Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry guys okay so now guys I want you to correctly and smoothly pronounce the T sound for the ED okay so I'm going to give you a verb okay and you're okay. gonna pronounce the past tense with the T sound okay so we went through the T sounds okay okay so are we ready guys ready yes. okay okay S bird are you ready Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you the verb, and you're going to use the past tense, and you're going to pronounce it with using the T at the end. Okay. So stop. Mm -hmm. Stopped. Stopped. Excellent. Very good. Stopped. Excellent. Okay. And um, Heidi, match. Matched. Good. Fandy, kick. Kick. Kicked. Well done. Diego, kiss. Kiss it. Okay, kiss. try it again. Kiss. kiss. Okay, remember when we're adding the ED, we have to sound it like it's a T. A T. Kissed. Kiss. Kissed. Kissed. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So now let's move on to the ID pronunciation. Okay. Okay. Now the next person, Ogre. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And. And. Very good. Okay. And um, Muhammad. I'm. Um, I'm listening. Okay. Want. Want. Okay. So we have to do the ed. Wanted. Wanted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wanted. Okay. Next one, um, Diego, try. Try. Very good. Okay, Esbert, borrow. Yes, borrow. Borrowed. Borrowed. Very good. Excellent. Wafa, live. Lived. Lived. Very good. Okay, Jesus, you ready? Jesus, 
He's all yes. live, but he's not talking to us. Oh, you're talking. Excellent. Okay, Jesus. So you ready to do a word for us? Um, I'm ready. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. Okay. Cook. Cook. Very good. Okay. Very pretty straightforward. Heidi, love. Loved. Very good. Okay, very good, guys. You're really good today. Thank you. Okay, so you guys done excellently really, really well. So do you guys have any questions before we end? Because we finished the assessment process now, and you guys have passed it really well. So you've passed with flying colors. Um, pretty good, yeah. Any questions before we um, end the class? Uh, is the lesson is, is, is the same in the same time or, or, uh, each day? Um, yes, my lessons are seven o'clock starting and they end at nine. So I have the first class from seven to eight, and then the next class from eight to nine. Yeah. Okay. Just that yeah. time during the day? Yes, I only do two hours a day. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah, I think. Going on faster. Yes, well, I'm going to fast tomorrow, inshallah, Heidi. Um, but not I'm today. not feeling quite. No, because I'm not feeling quite well, so I'm gonna wait until I feel better. Because it's quite long days here, so I better just. I would like to complete my full fast. But yeah, maybe tomorrow or the next day, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Esbert. Summer in your country. It's summer yes, or winter? Yes, it is. It's the summer here, Esbert, and it's very long days here. So the sun sets at 10 o'clock p.m. Oh. Yeah, it's very long days here. Like, I think so next year it's going to be longer. 10, 10 Sorry? p.m. Uh, yes, how, how 10 p.m. 10 p.m. We break our I class. wanted to know how much day hour. Day hour, how much hours in day? Sorry? Out of 24 hours. How much hours in day? Oh, I think it's eight, 18 or 19. 18 or 19 hours of fasting. Uh, only six hours for night. Really? Okay. God well, help you, teacher. God help I you. I know. <laughs> it's too hard. Thank you. I know. But you know, it gets easy. It gets easy. Like all that makes it easy for us, of course. But the first week it's a bit difficult, but you know, you get used to it. And it's an accomplishment for us, so. You know, uh, I just have uh, to just disregard that. Yeah. We, if, if we're busy with another thing, we will uh, forget the fasting. It will be of so Of course. Easy. Yeah. So as long as you have a busy life and you have busy work, the, then you forget the, about your fasting. Sure. You know? the, the hours move like th seconds. Of course. Yes. Yes. So, you know. And then as soon as you know it, it's time to eat. eat. Woohoo! That's great, yeah. Whoa. Okay, so guys, listen, I'll let you guys go, and it was great teaching you all. You all were really superb, um, and I'll see you soon, okay? So have a good day, and take care of yourselves. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Bye.